from 12 until about 3 o'clock. We're going to have a great time of fun and fellowship. We're going to have things for all ages, from adults to children. We're going to have some food and a good time. And then we're going to end with a celebration of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. And then God's going to return the favor by giving us a harvest of people filled with the Holy Ghost. We're going to use this baptismal we'll tank back here. And we're going to see people born into the kingdom of God. Amen? Praise God. So everybody say tools. We, we prepared some tools for you this week. And we're going to get busy laboring for the Lord. Amen. So uh, as you're coming later here in just a little bit to do your uh, offering, we prepared for you on both sides some flyers. Uh, and God is going to supernaturally use you this week. Say, God's going to use me. God's going to use me. Amen. But you've got to carry your tools and keep your tools with you. That's right. So wherever you're at, whether it's in a grocery store, whether it's uh, going anywhere in your daily uh, activities, keep your tools with you, and God's going to supernaturally cross your path and give you opportunities to, to witness yes. and pass these flyers out, and then God's going to honor it. God's going to go before you and prepare, amen, the open door, and he's going to anoint you. He's going to put words in your mouth. He's going to use you this week. Isn't that going to be wonderful? Amen. 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 Praise God. Well, we, we worship the Lord in song, and now we're going to be worshiping the Lord and giving a call on Brother uh, Beth to come and express some words and take up our offer. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. You know, this Easter, pre Easter celebration, it's, it's something that we can use to. Ignite a spark or ignite a fire in a family. You know, I don't know if we've ever done this here, have we? Big celebration, you know, and, and but I believe this is different. I believe this is different because God has anointed us. God gave me a message the other night, and it's prepare the room, and He'll pre. Repair the wound. Mm, wow. We're talking about the church here. Yes. Yes. You know, you say, well, you're going to do all this barbecue. You're going to do this chicken. You're going to do this bouncy house. You're going to do the bouncy slide. You're going to, you're going to put money into this. Yes. Yes. Well, what about that lady that prepared the room for the prophet? That's right. Yes. What did she get out of it? Right. Yeah. She got a child. Yes. Yes. Amen. She was barren. That's yeah. right. My wife was barren, but we've got two children. All right. Yeah. But if we go into the highways and the hedges, right. and if we reach out to those that you say, well, you know, there's no way they'll come to church. How many people are in church tonight that somebody invited and said, hey, they're not going to come to church? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we don't know what the Lord has in store. But if we prepare, yes. he will repair. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank so this is what we're doing. We're going to go out, and it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. We're going to have archer tag. We're going to have pizza. We're going to have barbecue. You know, we're going to have fun, games, cake. But it's not only for the body. It's for the soul. Amen. And that Amen. is the main Amen. reason yes. that we're Amen. gathering these people here. Amen. Not so that we can give everybody a cake, not so everybody can eat some barbecue. And I, We went and paid for the barbecue today. And she says, have you had our barbecue before? I said, no, ma'am. She says, would you like a sample? I said, yes. So it is good. Lunch puppies are good. I don't eat coleslaw, baby coleslaw. I'm looking forward to it. Amen. But I'm also looking out for the benefits. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so tonight, why don't we just take a minute. How many of y'all have a, a special need in your life? Amen. You know, whether it be sickness, whether it be physical, Amen. mental, financial, spiritual, whatever it is, God is able to help us. So why don't we just take a few minutes and pray and ask God to anoint 
every brochure yeah. that we pass out. Yeah. Yeah. Anoint yeah. every car. Yeah. Anoint every number that we dial. Anoint every door that we knock. Yeah. Every person that we come in contact with at yeah. the grocery store. Yeah. Amen. And convenience store. Yes. Let us be anointed, oh God. Yes. Amen. And let us reach them. So let's pray for our prayer request. And let's ask God to touch these brochures. God, we love you, Jesus. God, we ask you, Lord, to God, to move, Lord, by your spirit, God. We ask you, Lord, God, to anoint our feet, God, to direct us, Lord. Anoint our ears that we can hear the crying of their soul, God. Anoint our eyes that we can see the longing, God, in their soul, God. Lord, by your spirit, God. Anoint every door, anoint every brochure, God. Move, Lord, by your spirit, God. Touch every request, God. You saw that hand that we raised. You know the hand is represented in this building, oh God. Have your way, oh God. We ask you, Lord God, to bless this offering, oh God. Bless it for the burden of your kingdom, oh God. Bless it for the hand of the healer, those that don't have you. Bless the gift and the giver. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you'll make your rounds, put your offering in the pan. And kids, we're having class. Right back here. So once you take up your give your offering, you can go right through there and we're gonna have a class for y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, from 11 years old and under are oh, welcome to join us in the class. classifications it's either current or memorial and a current prayer is when we call for the elders of the church and by the laying of hands we see instantaneous results yeah. but memorial prayers is a prayer that's like making a deposit in the heaven's banking account and you don't automatically see the results of it right, right away oh. but you continue to pay and pay and pay and then soon God says you've paid long enough Stamp paid in full. And I began to think about the man of God in this city that has sown for 19 years precious seeds. Memorial type prayers. It's been petitioned on behalf of this community, this city, for you. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Brother Lebec, everything that you prayed for, you're going to see. Before you pass this life, everything that you plead for in this community, those memorial prayers are going to come up as a memorial before the Lord, and God's going to honor it. God's going to bless it. Amen. We worship the Lord in song and giving. What a 
don't you give the Lord a great big hand clap as the man of God comes and prepares to preach to you tonight. Amen. Amen. Bibles with you tonight. Turn with me to the book of Nehemiah. That's in the Old Testament. Um, before Ezra, I believe, or after Ezra. But it's right next to Ezra. Right after Ezra. Okay. Um, you got first, second. Samuel, 1st, 2nd Kings, 1st, 2nd Chronicles, and then it's right, I think, Esther, maybe Ezra, Nehemiah. It's right in that area, okay? Yeah. Praise God. We're going to look at, we're going to look at chapter 4. Amen. Oh. Nehemiah chapter 4. Amen. And I'm going to begin in verse 11. Everybody ready to launch? Praise Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Nehemiah 4, verse 11. And our adversary said, They shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them and slay them and cause the work to cease. And it came to pass that when the Jews which dwelt by them came, they said unto us ten times, from all places whence ye shall return unto us, they will be upon you. Therefore set I in the lower places behind the wall, and on the higher places. I even set the people after their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, Be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren your sons and your daughters, your wives and your houses. And it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us and God had brought their counsel to naught that we returned all of us to the wall, everyone unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that the half of my servants wrought in the work and the other half of them held both the spears, the shields and the bows and the upper games. And the rulers were behind all the house of Judah. They which built it on the wall, and they which bear burdens, with those that laid it. Everyone with one of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held the weapon. For the builders, everyone had his sword girded by his side, and so built it. And he that sounded the trumpet was by me. And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, The work is great and large. And we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. In what place, therefore, ye hear the sound of the trumpet, resort ye thither unto us. Our God shall fight for us. Yes. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. Yes. I preach to you tonight on this subject, build and fight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Lord, we love you tonight, yes. Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we set your anointing upon us tonight, oh Lord. Speak to us, God. Direct us, God. We love you in Jesus' mighty name tonight. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. The background for our scripture today is the return of the people of Israel to Jerusalem. They came to rebuild the temple and then later on to rebuild the wall. Yes. God had given them over to their enemies and sent them captive to Babylon for 70 years. Before this, they, were, they had sinned. Right. Why did it happen? Because of their sin, because they had forsaken the Lord right. and they had taken on the ways of the ungodly people around. 
And so God gave them warning after warning, prophet after prophet, and it seemed like they just never really totally heeded. And so the time just built up to the point where God said, well, I guess I'm going to teach them another way. I'm just going to have to send them into captivity, and they're going to have to suffer. Well, and so the opportunity came because God was merciful unto them. And he allowed those that would return in Israel to return and build the temple and the wall. But not everyone returned. You know, you think about it. Some had become like the Babylonians where they went. They were comfortable with that life. They had become just like them. Right. Amen. And, and they never returned to the Lord God of Israel and to his commandments. Right. Uh, some became well off and comfortable in Babylon. And they didn't want to leave that. No. You know, like, oh, we got it pretty good here. Some were content with their religious ritual and didn't want to make the full commitment it would take to return to Israel and to Jerusalem. Right. Right. And so you had a lot of people that just never even responded to the call. Right. But there were some that did. Amen. Yeah. But see, God didn't tell them to stay hidden in a corner somewhere. Right. He called them, amen, to be separated, a separated different people yeah. that would be a light to the nations. Yes. Yeah. And so he called them back Amen. To Jerusalem to rebuild the temple. Right. And then of course to rebuild the wall after that. Yeah. But not all. But some. They understood. And they responded. Amen. To truly being people of God. And so they returned to Jerusalem to rebuild the wall and the temple. Amen. Amen. But you know what? It didn't take long before they ran into opposition. Right. Right. The people of the land resisted and threatened them and, and, that, and gave them a bad report. And everything there had been destroyed. It was just a bunch of rubble now. That's what they came back to. And so the work was hard and was discouraging at times. Later, even the government told them to stop the work. And so they did for a period of time until God sent them some prophets that told them, Get back to work. Resume the work. Yes. One of these prophets was the prophet Haggai. He said, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses, in this house lie waste? Now therefore, thus saith the Lord God of hosts, Consider your ways. You have sown much, and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Mm. <laughs> you imagine, you know, you got a wallet and everything you put in there just falls out. Then you get a hole, some holes in the bottom. <laughs> yeah. You know, your purse, sister, your sisters, you know, you put your money in there and, <coughs> and you open it up. Wait a minute. How come yeah. I put some money in there? <laughs> I remember one time I went to the store. I was standing in line, I opened my wallet, and I knew it had money in there. But when I opened that wallet, there was, there was no money. I figured out what happened. Somebody had stolen it. I left it somewhere. If they took the money, you got to call the cops. That's right. But you, you know, that would be very discouraging to be as hard as you have to work, and then, you know, your money's just going to a hole in your wallet. Yeah. And God's saying this. This is what's happening to you. Right. He said, I'm not blessing you because you're not busy about my business. Right. You're not busy about my work. You, you're building your own houses right. and making them all look nice. But look at my house here. Oh, it's just yeah. lying waste. Right. Right. And so he says, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it. And I will be glorified, saith the Lord. And so God withheld his blessing from them until they put him in the honor of his temple first right. in their lives. Amen. Then he said, consider, and I'm not reading the whole prophecy, but he, he said, consider from this day forward Amen. what's going to happen. Right. Amen. And, and they started being blessed. And so they resumed the building. And they completed the temple. And God's glory filled the house. Yes. 
But you know, after a while, they kind of just went backwards again, compromising with the people and the world around them. And so God sent them Ezra, the priest, to teach them the word of the Lord so they could live God's way. And then years later, God sent Nehemiah to help them rebuild the walls for their protection, for their separation. God wanted to a different people from the people out there. Right. They needed something yeah. to separate them. Yeah. And so they needed to build a wall Amen. so that they could be a holy people unto God. And that's where our scripture picks up today. And so they, they built, but their enemies were all around them trying to find ways to sneak in and right. to sneak around them and, and get in on them. Yeah. Amen. And, and they said, they shall not know Neither see till we come in the midst among them and slay them and cause the work to cease. You know, there's people that are trying to stop what we're doing. Right. And then there's people trying to stop the work of God. They don't honor God's house. They don't honor God's commandments. Amen. Right. And then it's their number one priority to try to stop it. Right. And they find all kinds of ways to try to sneak around and you don't even know what's going on. But little by little, they're trying to find a way, to, a little hole, a little crack to come in right. and get in on Amen. But Nehemiah got wind of this, and so he said, Be not ye afraid of them. Amen. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren. Fight for your sons and for your daughters, for your wives and your houses. And so they came up with a plan. Everyone with one of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held the weapon. Yes. Yes. Right. God. You can imagine. Well, I can only work with one hand, I guess, but you know what? You better have this ready. Oh, yes. yes. Amen. Amen. You don't know who's going to come around the corner there. Come on. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Try to sneak in on you. Yeah. Amen. And so Amen. they were working on that wall, you know, and all they had to do, but they had this weapon ready here. That's right. That's amen. right. Yes. You know, just in case. That's right. And so the amen. enemies, right. amen, the Bible says they, you know, they they saw and they became discouraged. The enemy became discouraged at that point. Right. Because amen. they were on, they knew they were in, in on what they were trying to do. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. And so, um, they had their work tool in one hand. Yeah. And they had a weapon in the other. Yeah. Praise God. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Amen. But there was a lot of work that needed to be done. Amen. And in various places, causing them to be separated on the yeah. wall. And so they said, the work is great at large. Amen. And we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. In what place, therefore, we hear the sound of the trumpet. Resort ye thither unto us, our God shall fight for us. Yes. yes. And so the other thing they yes. did was they found a way to come together. Yes. Amen. Amen. And when they did, they knew that God would meet with them and God would fight yes. for them. Praise yes. God. Yes. Amen. Well, what does that all this have to do with us now, today? Amen. Well, we know 2020 was quite a year. It was a year that tried us, a year that tested us, a year that hit people pretty hard. That's right. That's Amen. There was COVID, of course. Many people sick, many people dying, lockdown, social distancing, limiting our connections all of one another. All of that leading to many mental health issues, right. suicides, divorce, kids falling by the wayside with their online learning. Right. Amen. If you haven't read about it, well, I'm telling you, that's what's been happening. Yeah. yeah. Amen. In some places, we've had cosmic weather disasters, famines, pestilence, insect plagues. Amen. Amen. Like you read in the Bible. Right. right. In, in Africa this past year. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And in the streets, we know what was happening. Riots, lawlessness, burning, looting in the cities, yeah. vandalism, tearing down our history. Right. And don't forget the push for sexual perversion. Yeah. Gender confusion, yes. defunding the police, right. transgenderism, all that, the, the rule of law being ignored, unprecedented censorship, right. and being told what to think and what to believe. Mm -hmm. And it's no wonder 
because we've had churches closed and some still closed and also many other churches compromising and forsaking the truth. Amen. And now we have the government, the media, big business, I guess the big three, put them all together, trying to mandate and tell us what we have to believe. Tell us right from wrong. Tell us what's good versus evil. And in that fact, if we don't agree with them, we're liable to face time in prison or fines and all this other stuff. It's already happening in some places, people. Right. That's right. right. Amen. Yeah. That's right. But the word of God. Yes. Amen. He never changes. Who is from the I'm gonna say who is from the beginning. Because in the beginning was the Word. Yes. Amen. And the Word was God. with God, and the Word was God. Yep. Amen. And so the Word of God, who was from the beginning, has already settled all of this. Yes. Psalm 119 says, Forever, O Lord, thy Word is settled in heaven. Yes. It's once and for all, praise God. And always was and always will be. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so, yes, we are dealing with things. We are dealing with sickness. We are dealing with opposition. We are dealing with strife. But the issue is bigger than what we've already just stated. Amen. We're dealing with sickness, but we're dealing with the sickness of sin. Right. Praise right. God. Right. God says, Behold, all sins, I mean, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Right. right. It's the worst disease than anything else. Right. It's the disease of sin. Yes. And if you don't get cured of your sin, amen, right. you shall die, not just physically, but you shall die spiritually. That's yes. right. Right. That's right. Forever separated from God. Yes. Amen. And we're dealing with cosmic opposition. Yes. But in this case, it's the devil. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Yes. Right. Who resist steadfast in the faith. Right. Right. Amen. Yes. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. It's nothing unusual. Right. It's saying all your brethren, everyone who's yes. truly of the truth, amen, yes. Yes. are all having to deal with him. Amen. He's after all of us. Right. Yes. Now, if you're not Amen. the truth, you'll make you alone because he wants you to sustain right. the seed. That's right. Amen. Yeah. And we're also dealing with even human opposition. The ungodly values, ways, and philosophies of the world. Amen. First John 2, 15 through 17. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Right. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Yes. Right. Amen, amen. And you know, we deal with strife. But it's often the strife of our own sinful flesh. Right. Amen. Galatians 5, 16 and 17 says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, right. and the Spirit against the flesh. Right. And these are contrary to one to another, so that you cannot do the things that you will Right. means we even have a struggle inside our own yes. selves at times. Right. Amen. Amen. It's a fight. Right. Amen. It's a fight. Amen. Amen. It seems like, you know, about the time you figure you got it all licked. Comes right back up. So something comes and about stabs you in the back. Yeah. You've got to be on the alert. That's right. right. Yes. Amen. Just about all the time. And so what do we do? We get all of this we deal with. What do we do? Well, I say despite and in the face of all of that, God says, build and fight. Build and fight. Amen. Build and fight. Yes. yes. Amen. As Haggai chapter 1, 
12, 13 says, it says, the people obey the voice of the Lord their God and the words of Haggai the prophet, as the Lord their God had sent him. And the people did fear before the Lord. Then spake Haggai, the Lord's messenger, and the Lord's message unto the people, saying, I am with you, saith the Lord. Yes. Amen. You know, when we put God in his word first, yes. he says, I am with you. Praise God. And when God is for you, amen, then who can be against you? Praise God. If God is with you, amen, what can the devil do? Amen. Praise amen. God. Yes. We can do all things through Christ. Yes, you're strong. Which strengthens us. us. Yes. Praise God. Yes. I am able. Praise God through Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. He is with us and he will fight for us. Amen. Yes. As we read. Amen. He's bigger than all of our enemies. Praise God. He's bigger than all our opposition. Praise God. Right. And we right. have a responsibility. We do. Yes. On top of that though, yes. doesn't mean he's going to do everything and we just sit back and twiddle our thumbs. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. 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 We've got a responsibility. Yes, we do. It begins by making your own life, your body, a temple yes, of Jesus. God's spirit. Yes. Praise you God. see, when we talk about building the house, it has to begin with this right here. Yes. It has to yes. begin with us. Yes. Amen. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost, the scripture says. Yes. First yes. Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, yes. which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Yes. Yes. Ye are bought yes. with a price. Yes. Therefore, glorify yes. God in your body and in yes. your spirit, which right. are God's. Right. Yes. Amen. Jesus paid yes. the price. For yes, our he sins. did. Amen. Jesus yes. redeemed us. Amen. That means he bought us. Hallelujah. He paid the price to bring us back to himself. Yes. And we belong to him because he bought us. He purchased us. Hallelujah. Yes. And we have a choice. Hallelujah. To either repent of our sins, surrender to him, right. and let his spirit live in us, yes. or we can reject that and can we keep living our own life. Yeah, right. I mean, you see it all the time. Not everybody accepts this. Some people even turn away from it. I'm a, sorry to say, as we know. We've been true. in this long enough. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Seen it. Seen it. But you know, why would somebody reject a God that loves you that much? Enough to die for your sins. Enough to die on a cross. Bleed and die. Be beaten. Stabbed with a spear in his side. Whipped. Uh, that alone should have killed him. Flogged the way he was. Yeah. Your sins in your place. Has the best in store for you in eternity with him in heaven. Yet, why would people want to get that? There's no tell. Next, and so it begins with us. And next, we seek to glorify and magnify Jesus Christ in this world. Right. First, we glorify him in ourselves, in our own body. But then we've got to glorify him in this world. Yeah. Yes. Praise God. It begins with building, yes. amen, and fighting for the church. Which is his body in the earth. And as 1 Timothy 3.15 calls it. says the house of God. Which is the church of the living God. The pillar and ground of the truth. Yes. Amen. You want to know what the truth is. You got to come to the church. Amen. It is the pillar and yes. ground of the truth. It's where you're going to hear the truth. It's in the church. Amen. And so it's no wonder that they're trying to shut the voice of the churches. Amen. Shut them down. Amen. Censor them. Amen. Because the truth is going forth. Yeah, yes, right. it is. Right. And the devil's out there. The enemy's out there trying to stop it. Yeah. Right, yeah. And so that's why even though the work is great and large, we must not be separated or alone in living and working for the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he calls us to all work, and we all to have our place and our thing that we he wants us to do. 
If we're not all the same, we don't all do the same thing and go to the same area or handle things the same. We have different talents and abilities, amen. That's right. And so, you know, we 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 are in the work and it's a lot of work and it's great and large and it's widespread, but we dare not just be off by ourselves and never come back together. Right, right, that's the right. Devil will pick us off one at a time. Yes, he will. Amen. And and confuse you and, and, and think you know the truth, but if you don't ever hear another voice, right? So good, so yeah. good. How do you know it's the truth? Yeah. Yes, Amen. yes. Amen. We all know again. Those of us have been in this for a long time. How some have gone off the deep end. Right. Amen. If I can put it that yeah. way. Because they didn't want to listen to anybody else. Yeah. And so we must resort and come together. Yeah. When the yes. trumpet of the spirit and the trumpet of the word sounds. And when's that? I say it every time, whenever the doors of the church are open. Amen. And this message goes forth. Amen. Yes. And that's the trumpet sounding. Amen. Yes. Come. Amen. Come and worship. Amen. Come hear the word of the Lord. Amen. We're yes. at church today. Amen. We're preaching the word of the Lord. We're teaching the word of the Lord. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. God. Yes. We're yes. going to worship and pray. Yes. Amen. That's right. Come together for prayer meeting. Amen. Every time the trumpet is blowing. Yes. Yes. Amen. Touch us, God. Amen. Touch come. 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 Stop. You gotta stop. You can't just be out there all by yourself working. It's, yes, we gotta do that, but you gotta come together. Yes. And be strengthened. Yes. Amen. God. And be confirmed and all the rest that God gives us. Yes, amen. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And so, as first Corinthians 3 tells us, know you not that ye, here talking about us together are the temple of God. Yes. Right. We are. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Yes. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Amen. Yes. We are the temple of God. Yes, we are. Amen. Yes, we are. Amen. The Spirit of God dwells in us. And if we defile his temple. God says he's not happy with that. Right. Because the temple of God is holy. Praise God. And so we must let the spirit of God dwell among us. We must let the spirit of God move among us. Amen. Right. We must let the spirit of God have his way among us. Right. Amen. Because it's his house. We are his body. Amen. Yeah. This is his temple, amen. And he wants to fill the house, praise yeah. God. Yes, yes, amen. Yes, yes. And without him in the house, what are we doing here? Right. 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 And we must keep his temple pure, pure. and holy. Yes. Amen. No unrighteous worldly philosophies are taught here. Praise God. Amen. No ungodly living is encouraged here. Amen. Praise God. No compromise with the devil or sin or carnality. Amen. All of that will rob us of our victory here. Amen. Because we are his and he is ours. Amen. We are the temple of God. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And so... We build and we fight. Amen. Right. Yes, we have adversaries trying to sneak in and to kill the truth and to stop our voice and to stop us from working. And I say it's worse today amen, than I've ever seen it before. Right. Amen. Right. Those of us who've been in this a while, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yes. Amen. Uh, when the, you know, the top three again, the media, the government, and big business, that all seem to be collaborating together to shut our mouths and censor us, to shut our doors and to, and to send us to jail and to fine us for what the Word does, just simply by trying to proclaim and live by what the Word of God says, that something is really happening in the world. Amen. The, the, the devil is being exalted by these. Yes. 
forces. And, uh, you know, he, he's got a stronghold on them. Yeah. Yes, he does. It's, it's like I said, I've never seen it like this before. And yes, we have spiritual, worldly, and carnal opposition. We even strive with our own flesh nature oh, yeah. at times. Amen. But as our scripture today said, we are not going to be afraid of that. Amen. Right? Amen. Of all of this, we're not going to be afraid. Amen. Amen. Because greater is he that is in us. Amen. 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 Than he that is in the world. Amen. He is greater than all of that. We're going to remember the Lord, which is great and terrible. And we are fighting. Amen. What we fight for? We're fighting for our brethren. We're fighting for our sons. Amen. We're fighting for our daughters. Amen. We're fighting for our wives. Amen. We're fighting for our houses. We're fighting for the truth of God's word. Praise yes. God. We're yeah. fighting for the house of the Lord. Amen. We're fighting for the kingdom of God. Amen. Right. So we build and we fight. Amen. We're building the temple of the Holy Ghost within us. We're building the house of God here among us. And we're fighting for the truth. Yes. We're fighting, amen, for our families. We're fighting for our friends, amen. We're fighting for our neighbors, amen. We're fighting for souls in this community and all around us. Yes, we're fighting. Yes. It's a fight. Yes. Sometimes it's a fight just to get yourself up and go out and do something. Yeah, it is. We know. Yes, sir. Amen. It yes. is. But I'm glad God gives us the grace and the help. Amen. 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 And you know, let me say this. Right? It's not in my notes, but there is such a thing as wounded warriors. That's right. That's right. There is. People who've got wounded some way, somehow, by the devil, discouraged, knocked down uh, because of all his attacks and everything. You know what's sad? I, I think about people going to war. You know that some, I mean, they no, they no longer step, they no sooner step on the battlefield that they get hit. That's right. That's right. Yes. It's true. It's very true. Some of them get killed. I mean, as soon as they step on the battlefield, boom. It's over. That was it. That's the end of their fight. Yeah. yeah. You know, and yeah. I say this to say, so we shouldn't, God help us, yes. not to be too critical. Right. People. right. Yes. That's so you know, good. Fall. That's so true. People that get discouraged. People that, yeah. you know, just yeah. don't give up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Last year was a rough year for me. Yeah. Okay. Talk about personally. Yeah. The last eight years have been rough. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Because my wife has been sick that long. Yeah. But last year just seemed to. I mean, when the COVID hit, band of our members, I was, I was excited. I was making messages and we were posting them. My son was helping me record them and we were posting them online and all this and yeah. next thing you know my son tells me he's gonna go to a charismatic church that I've been showing him what he says that's where he's supposed to go and the, the trinity and all that and, oh God. and I think it was maybe a combination of that and just the other pressures that were already on me with my wife and everything else and, um, I think I was in a, I know I was, I wasn't depressed for a long time. I was in a deep depression. And I still come here and I still try. Praise God. But it was so hard, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just didn't have the, I didn't have the motivation. I just did what I had to do. Right. Yeah, there we go again, back to the battlefield. You ever been there? Yes. 
Yes, amen. It's just a human thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing. That's right. It just means we're all human. And we get attacked and we sometimes get wounded. And so we get discouraged, we get knocked down. The thing is, just don't give up. Right. right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Just don't give up. That's right. right. That's you right. You gotta stay. That's right. You might be hanging on by a toenail. That's right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 I'm trying. You try, keep preaching. You try. Praise God. So, you know, I might not want to be putting up one brick a day on there, but at least I'm You're putting doing a brick. something. That's right. <laughs> Amen. I, I might not want to be chasing away a fly. Amen. But I'm, I'm chasing something away. Amen. All right. Amen. Keep preaching. You're doing a good job. Hallelujah. 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 Good job. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Who's going to fight? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's, he's, good job. He's, he's taking me my hand. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Good job. Keep reaching. You'll get there. Amen. You'll get there. Keep reaching. You'll get there. That's all. How many of y'all want to be a temple of the Holy Spirit? Yes. 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 A temple of God's Spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. And Amen. then you, he wants Amen. you to be the temple of God's Spirit. Amen. Amen. And so it means you've got to do some building in your own life. That's right. Yes. And then you've got to do some fighting for your own yes. life. Amen. Right. Yes. It means I'm going yes. to yes. I'm gonna reject sin. Amen. Amen. I'm going to reject what the devil tells me. I'm going to reject Amen. what Amen. the world is trying to tell me how to live. Yes. Yes. They sure don't know yes. what they're doing, amen. Yes. And I'm going to yes. resist all of that, amen. And I'm going to live yes. for God, amen. amen. I'm going to let His Spirit dwell within yes. me. Yes. I'm going to let Him lead me by His Spirit. Amen. 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 Let's go. And then how many will build the amen. house of God with us here and roll over? Yes. God. Amen. How many yes. of y'all would build the house of God yes. here with us? Yes. yes. Let's, Let's do it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Amen. 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 Personally. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. And so, yeah, we work together. Yeah. We got to come together. Yeah. We can't be separated. Amen. 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 Amen.
whenever we're laboring before the Lord, we give ourselves to people. I feel this in the Holy Ghost. Sometimes we can give ourselves to people. Yeah. And we give yeah. them everything that we have. And then we make, watch them make conscientious decisions and walk away. Yeah. yeah. From us pouring ourselves out and pouring ourselves into them. Yeah. yeah. And because God chooses that method and gives us free will, we can't yeah. force anybody. But it, it, it leaves a little bit of yeah. hurt. And it leaves a little bit of room when we watch people that we love yeah. walk away. Yeah. Amen. But God is yeah. faithful Amen. tonight. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Let's just touch the Lord tonight in prayer. Lord, yeah. Jesus, we thank you for the word of the Lord that we've heard tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for being our armor. Thank you, Lord, for being that hand, God, that, that holds the sword. And, and God, help. Thank you for the strength, Lord, to be able to work for you. But in the middle of it all, God, there's times, God, that we're hurt and we're wounded, God. And I pray tonight, Lord, that you begin to touch this congregation. Lord, prepare us once again to go out in your name. Lord, I pray for a spiritual healing, Lord, to touch us tonight in a beautiful way, in a special way. Lord, begin to bend our hearts, Lord. Lord, begin to touch our minds tonight, God. Hallelujah. You're a God of faithfulness, God. You're a righteous God. Lord, I pray for every family.